The main source of raw materials to major industries such as sugar, fabric, edible and non-edible is agriculture. Many other industries such as processing of fruits, vegetables and rice get their raw materials from agriculture. On today's special feature, we are profiling the importance of agriculture. Hi, I'm Richard Unekweku, founder and chief farmer of Anyako Farm. Now, with increasing population and with estimation that the world's population will be hitting about 9 billion by 2050, it means that we have more maths to feed. And, and you cannot underplay the role agriculture will play in that population growth and population sustenance. Because if people don't have food, they will die off. People must eat, people must use the raw material for other uh, value chain processing. If it is clothes, you are wearing the raw material is coming from cotton and Greek. Whatever the industry is, there's a bit of raw material that is needed from the Greek sector to support that industry. So a Greek plays a critical role in the survival of the world. And we cannot overemphasize that role going forward, especially where the world population is increasing at a faster rate. In all this value chain production, you need money. Banks traditionally will not give you money, so you must depend on your own money to be able to do a Greek. But will you have the required money to mechanize your farm, to acquire tractors, to invest into irrigation, to invest into technology, satellite technology, buying the right input, the right seed, paying the right people to do the right job for you. All these things depend on money. So if you don't have the required money, any investment you make will not bring the required return. So for me, those two challenges still persist in the sector and they needed to be looked at critically if you want to advance the, the contribution of the sector to our national development. For me, the first and foremost is the decision on what to grow. Then you go into the decision of where to grow it, looking for land. Then you look at how to acquire the land. And I've always encouraged that young people who want to go into farming should not spend so much money in acquiring land. So the decision to buy should not be the first decision. Young people should begin to look at leasing lands or forming partnership with landowners and developing those lands for their production purposes. You have to start small, build up capital from what you've started, reinvest, begin to have proper financial records, have them audited, begin to have proper systems in place. Then the banks and the financial institutions will be encouraged at a later stage to give you financial support. I think Agri still holds a lot of prospects uh, for wealth creation in, in this country because we, we have not developed our agriculture to a level where uh, we, we are driving the highest benefit as per other countries are. And the challenge is upon young people, especially given the advantage we have as being educated people, to come into the sector and apply some of the learnings we've had from the classrooms from the corporate world into the sector so we can change the dynamics. Because if you continue to leave that sector to the small scale farmers who virtually do not understand the business of doing things, will continue to run agri on a sustenance level, will not be able to derive the right benefit from agriculture. We need to begin to do agri in a commercial way. And it's only the young people who have the requisite education that can drive that, that change. So I think it's a sector that anybody who is interested in can go in. But advice again remain, begin to start small, make the right decision, build your capacity, look for the right capital and the right investment, and you'll be able to drive the right benefit from the sector. Agriculture is a major contributor to national income and development, source of food supply, prerequisite for raw material, creation of infrastructure, source of foreign exchange for a country, Let's help promote agriculture. It is time for young people to go into agri to begin to produce healthy food for healthy lifestyle. I encourage you to take up the challenge. 